Today, Jolter, we're gonna talk about tape. And Nemesis. And Nemesis. Because it's made of tape. And it's <laughs> made of tape. And you know what? It's time to, you know, Should do this. Should we start this. taping? Are we taping already? I, I got the reference today. Is it, is Good it? old PSD video. <laughs> Anyways. Nemesis. 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 Uh, you have seen it before, but this is kind of like the first time we, we, we stand up, we talk about it. Um, and it is made, as you've probably seen, out of a good amount of, you know, tape. They uh, they wrapped it up, they sewn it together, and uh, you know, here we got the poop. <laughs> so what do you think? Poop made out of tape, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty crazy, you know? And I think on feet, this zebra looking colorway, mm -hmm. I think it's pretty dope. You it know? is pretty I think dope. it looks cool. There's a lot going on, but you know, it still looks good on the pitch. I, I agree with you, and, and you know, it took me a bit of time to get used to the looks, uh, especially with I think the yellow. I kind of had to get used to the yellow a bit, but uh, that's one of my favorite parts because that pops out, you know. It does pop. But, but uh, anything else? Like I haven't tried them on just yet. Oh. We're going to an event with Adidas. In a couple of days. So hopefully there, I'm gonna you know pop the pop the cherry, if you know what I mean. But, but, but <laughs> I, I don't think you know. I don't think it's gonna be a very pleasant experience. But <laughs> well, from what I've seen, you keep saying that you know it's not necessarily for wide-footed players because it's pretty. Um, narrow and tight because you know you need a decent amount of lockdown because it's made out of tape so exactly. you need to keep some kind of a form in it but you know I'm gonna do my very best <laughs> to well, try can... and you know force <laughs> my my feet into this I beast. think you I can't think you can force your foot into the nemesis but I think you're gonna want to force it out again really really really, <laughs> really really quickly because it is uh, even for me and I have a uh, like slim to medium foot it's tight uh, a lot of our colleagues tried the boot the other day, and they were like, "Whoa, this is tight!" And there's yeah. this this is guy who has more or less the same, you know, monster foot as you have, and it was it looked. Talking painful. about the nemesis, you know, yes. I'm actually also excited about this guy. Okay, how the come? Messi version, you know, that's, with the laces. That that's the 17.1. But Messi is also gonna yeah. wear this. Whatever, um, you get the point. Messi's playing with the laces. Um, you know, I think I'm not necessarily a huge fan of laceless boots. No? Maybe because, you know, I have very wide feet, so they not, don't really, you know, match my feet just yet. No. I, I feel like the, the laceless boots in general are for slimmer type of feet. Mm -hmm. So for some reason, I just like having the laces, you know, to give me that little bit of, you know, freedom to strap, strap it real good. <laughs> <laughs> You don't feel that. So you don't feel that with this, you know, try putting it around your arm. Just just try putting it around your arm. Because it is real, like, elasticated. You can actually, you know, if I want to do this and then just do that. Yes. You feel the compression. Yeah. Yeah. But you made also a good point. I wonder if it was in the review or in some other, you, you've made so many videos already. <laughs> um, when you said that, you know, what happens? Yes. In, in three months, when you wear this twice a day, every day. And the what happens gonna, to the tape? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's, it's going to be a bit weird. But, but, you know, I think the whole idea about Nemesis with, with the tape, I think it's a nice idea. And, you know, I was, I was kind of wondering, where, where do we go next? Where's, what's the next bit of innovation? We've got the knit now. Um, we saw Puma with their net, uh, NetFit technology, mm -hmm. which is also pretty innovative. And I thought, where do we go next? But apparently, you know, tape was the next level. And, and I think it, it makes sense. Uh, we saw what they did with the Nitro Charge uh, and, and, you know, kind of used the, the energy sling, mm. which it, it, the idea was good, but it kind of didn't work nah. that well. But, I but, mean, you could feel the energy sling, like when you put yes, the boot on. Yes, <laughs> but you didn't really, you know, it didn't really follow the shape of your foot. It was just there. Yeah. You know, it was kind of like a border that your foot could like yes. bounce uh, at and then not move as much. But, but this actually tries to follow the shape of your foot while locking it down. So, um, so there we go, our nemesis. But being a laceless boot, being a low-cut laceless boot, I thought that today we could also talk about, you know, the best laceless boot that we have seen. Because uh, as far as I can recall, there have been four like big laceless boots uh, to ever bring them out. We, we, we're gonna bring them out. We're gonna bring out, uh, let's say, uh, the which which one should we get? The pure control. We're gonna take the pure control first, uh, because obviously this is the most hyped 
of them all. Uh, the, the, should we say, the most popular laceless boot out there. Uh, and I actually reckon that it's a pretty good boot, but it is high cut. It is high cut. And I know? think that, that Nemesis really complements it really well by being low cut. That's pretty cool. It is know? pretty cool. So we get a, you know, it's not the first low cut laceless boot ever made. It's the first low cut laceless boot ever made out of fabric. But, uh, but, but yeah, I, I, which one would you go for? I would, you know, out of these two, I would go with the Nemesis because I play with this guy. Yeah. Looks 10 out of 10. <laughs> fit for uh, Jolter, Monster Hobbit feet. You know, not so accommodating. Um, you know, but you can't, you cannot hate this boot because it just looks so good. I know, you know? I know. It looks so good. And that's the thing with the laces boot, that once you put it on, it doesn't matter if it's if it's Nemesis or the, the pure control or what it is. Once you put it on, that's the way it's gonna fit. I mean, you yes. don't have the laces to, to adjust, you don't have the laces to loosen up or tighten it in. That's just gonna be the way that, yeah, it fits. If you want the adaptability and, and the laces, you're gonna have to go for the 17.1. Yes. Um, and, and we're not gonna really go into the, like, the, the tech spec because I think I've talked enough about the tech specs. If you want to see the tech specs on the 17.1 or the 17 plus for that matter, there's a tech talk that you can click uh, on a card to see. There's a line comparison, there's everything. So we're going to jump uh, elegantly um, over that. But, but let me bring out another laceless boot because we also have, I'm starting to see a tendency here. <laughs> we have Adidas Glitch, which is also, of course, laceless. It's also uh, interchangeable and also dirty. Um, but and low cut. And low cut. So does this classify as the first low cut laceless boot, would you say? Um, you know, it was not like released to the public, you know, like with, so that everybody can go out, out and buy it. No. You know? no. I can't even speak anymore. It's too early. <laughs> wow. <guys. laughs> but I think this is a cool boot. It no. is. Have you tried it? No, but no. it looks cool. <laughs> but you know, from what I've heard and what I've heard you say and other people say, it is like the the chaos. Yes, it, it does feel a lot like the chaos. It's Very just, soft upper. Yes, um, it's just heavy basically. Than yeah, the chaos. exactly. It, it's it's a nice boot, but it's not the OG low cut laceless boot because that is of course the granddaddy, Lotto <laughs> Giro Gravity, created by none other than. The genius himself, Mr. Dennis Dekovic, uh, who also helped in creating the Magista, by the way. But I think this is this is really what started the whole uh, laceless craze back in the days, and and one of the first boots that I actually reviewed for Unisport. Um, and you know, thinking back then, this is not difficult to get on compared to the Nemesis or the Pure Control. But back then, you got the shoe on, and I think I spent 30 minutes on getting this on uh, in the first place. Sure. And it's not. It's not necessarily a bad football boot. It's just it was just way ahead of its time. This looks like my nightmare, you know. I hate boots with like a high, high toe box like this. You know, if it doesn't like, like yeah. soften up on the way down, uh -huh. you know, it's like my nightmare. You know, <laughs> this is like I call these the toe poke. The boots. toe poke boots. Yes. Wow. This is like a, when you are Ronaldo in the World Cup final 2002. Whatever. It's not that this bad. This is the boot is you want to wear. Wow. Oh, okay, okay, we're gonna put that one away. <laughs> <laughs> but but another thing that I think we should discuss is the fact that Nemesis kind of takes over from uh, the Messi line. We haven't really talked that much about it yet because it's not just a new, um, a new Messi 17 plus pure whatever. It's it's actually a whole new silo. So this is is dead. Messi is dead. The Messi line is dead. They introduced it, Jolto. Two years ago, and now they killed it to make Nemesis. What do you reckon? Of, I, I mean, what, what do you think about that? They, they make a lion only to kill it off. Well, uh, the conclusion in my head tells me that Messi was like, guys, you did well, but please give me something better. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe he was chilling in his backyard, you know, just playing, uh, strapping some tape around his feet. Who knows? You know, I hope that we I, we, we can catch up with some Addy guys. At, at an event later on, gonna see a video, um, and they can tell us some deep stories about how this came together. Um, but let's see, I don't know, you know? Like, I really think that Messi, maybe he wasn't feeling the boot so much. Maybe he wanted something like this. Addy guys came with, look man, we're gonna strap your feet with some tape. You game? <laughs> Messi is like, I'm in. <laughs> I think we need to tell this guy on how to make, you know, how football boots are made. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe it just happened, you know. They, they just came across it. 
But it is interesting that they kind of like ditch the Messi silo yeah. and just like two years in because. And we don't know if it was messy who didn't like it or if it didn't sell that well or it's just exactly. it's, it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty interesting thing that they just make a new one that is called Nemesis. It's the new Messi's. Neme do you get it? Yeah. <laughs> I got it. But I, I mean, I, I I'm actually pretty excited about it. The only thing I'm not excited about, Jolter, is the price. Do you know how much the 17 plus is costing? This, this, by the way, for reference, is 300 euros, which is a lot of money. I would give this guy 300 euros. 300 euros? I, I, I wouldn't pay 300 euros, but you know, I, I'm guessing the price is 300 euros. It's 330 euros for the 17 plus 360 agility. So apparently you pay a premium for the name, the length of the name, because it's a really long name. 330 euros. And wow. I know, I know, it's a shit ton of money. But on the other hand, on the other hand, we've talked about this a couple of times. Uh, it is often the most, you know, simple and, and you know, um, very minimalistic ideas that are the most expensive and complicated to make. But it's tape. <laughs> 330 euros for a pair of football boots, man. Wow. What has happened to the world, man? I know, I know, it's, it, but you know, I, I would even say that, you know, trying them on, the moment I got them on, I was like, I don't care what they cost, I just want them, I need them. But then reflecting a little bit, you know, if this is gonna last you a season, you need to go out and, buy it and you fall in love with it. What happens if you fall in love with Nemesis? You have to go and get one every season. 330, that's a lot of money. Yeah, like, you know, what I'm very interested in is the durability, you know? Like, I yeah. would like to have a guy play with this every freaking day for, I don't know, four months, you know? And see what happens. Like, is this seriously gonna, like, loosen up you have a guy. Man. Yeah, but you change boots like every day. Yeah, new pair I played you know? with the Nemesis for a long time. I wore it for like three months. It's holding up pretty well. Um, and it actually, the, the I'm, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it, because I have it. Gonna get it. I have my blackouts. Because uh, this pair you definitely haven't worn. Not once. Not once. No. This is my, as you can see, my authentic uh, in-training worn pair. And it actually, you know, it holds up pretty well still. It's got its elasticity. It hasn't really started splitting from uh, the sole yet. Uh, no real, really, you know, bad signs of too much wear. And I've worn them like a lot because I really, really like the Nemesis. Uh, so, so, so that's pretty good. Um, it's just gonna be interesting to see how long the tape is gonna be elastic. Mm. And going back to the price, I also gotta say that yes, it is a, a Truck load of money, and it's crazy that it's come this far, 330 euros. I mean, we're going back to the Superfly two and three levels of, of, of five years ago. But with that said, this is one of the like funniest, most unique, awesome feelings on the market right now. Cause, cause I feel like on my toes, and you saw the review, I, I really feel like completely different when I wear these. It's like a feeling I've never ever had before. Well, you better feel like that if you're paying <laughs> that kind of money, man. <laughs> like these better make me like to do some crazy stuff on the pitch. 330, you know, I don't care what you put on the boot. If you make it out of tape or rubber bands, you know, I don't care. But 330 euros. But it's like, but it's like that with supercars or fashion or, you know, that's just how it goes. These are tools, man. I think it's gonna turn a lot, a lot of people down, you know. But 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 that's I do get I do get it, you know, that it's a premium product, you know, and uh, it probably took a lot of time. We've talked about this, like with the research, development, all this kind of crap. That's what I mean. But still, it's a lot of it's a we, whole we lot agree. of money. It's man. a lot of money, and for me, you know, to go out and buy the boots, it would take. I mean, it would take something. <laughs> I would really need to do my research, watch a lot of Unisport videos, listen to a lot of opinions. But at the end of the day, you know, knowing what I know, having played with it. I think, I think I would pull the trigger. Because it, it, it's really, really good. And you know how much I love the Vapor 11. You, you guys know how much I love the Vapor 11s. I would, I would actually say that I've had a few matches after the release of Nemesis, where I didn't really have to wear it anymore for the purposes of testing. And I wore the Nemesis. In, over the Vapor 11. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm not saying it's a better boot yet, but, but I'm, I'm saying that I really, 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 really like it. And with that said, 
Jolter. Any last remarks on Nemesis? Is it the best laceless boot that has ever been made? Um, probably yes. I would probably say yes, because all the other ones I've tried, <laughs> not incredible. <laughs> probably yes. <laughs> you try one, right? One of the rest. Huh? You try one, one laceless boot and toe. Okay. I've tried the, the these ones. Oh, you uh, tried the Shiro Yeah, uh, when they came out. Okay. I had a couple of teammates who had them. Fair play. And you know, like I said, I, I told you my opinions about this boot. Okay, um, so you'd say it's probably the, the best. The ace doesn't fit me, so I guess this is the best <laughs> ever made. <laughs> I'm gonna say yes. Um, yeah. I like I like the ace. Uh, the, the ace might be more for some people, uh, because this is not for everyone. This is tight, it's locked in, it's it's very compressed, and the sole plate is stiff and all that stuff. But if you are someone who likes to, to really be responsive and, and make a lot of small movements and run with the ball and all that jazz, I'd say this is the best laces boot ever made. And, and the fit for me is just incredibly amazing. So yeah, there we go. Best laces boot ever made. Congratulations, Adidas, you beat two of your own boots and a lotto boot. Well, well played. <laughs> No, but it's, it's, it's pretty good. And I think laceless technology is going to be everywhere in a couple of years. So um, so let's see where it goes. But Jolter, as always, in these here videos, we're going to give away a pair of... Should we give away a pair of 17 pluses? Or oh, no. We're going to give away a pair of 17.1s. The favorite of my good friend here. So all they have to do... It, it's, it's your boo we're giving away. What do they have to do? Tell me why you prefer uh, the the model with the laces compared to the you know the strap man's dream. Um, wow. So let us know in the comment section below because we're gonna give away this guy. Yes, you know? 17.1. You can win in comment section below. With that said, don't forget to subscribe. Click the green bubble somewhere over my head. Leave us a like if you had a good time and enjoyed Jolter playing with the tape and spread the word by sharing the video with your friends. <laughs> well That's done, Jay Mike. This probably <laughs> looks so cool in the camera when it like comes. Do, do you wanna do you wanna launch it? Launch it at the camera. Launch it at the camera. Go, 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 go. I